If you want to make real progress, you have to challenge yourself to rethink what you consider impossible. The expression, like talking to a wall, means that the person you're talking to can't or won't listen. Because walls can't listen, or can they? It's exactly this kind of accepted wisdom that we love debunking. If you have ingenuity and determination, then really, nothing's impossible. We're going to be conducting our experiment at the Berlin Wall Memorial. It's the only section where both sides of the wall are still standing, with no man's land in between. To get the wall to listen, we're going to use something called an accelerometer. We normally use these accelerometers to pick up microscopic vibrations inside machines like turbines and jet engines. They help us diagnose potential problems before they arise, so that we can prevent power outages and flight delays. We're going to attach an accelerometer to one side of the wall. If we're right, it should be sensitive enough to detect the tiny vibrations produced by a person talking on the other side. We'll be filtering this signal and then playing it through speakers to a group of kids on the far side. So, in a way, the kids will be listening to what the wall is hearing. We won't have someone just talking to a wall. He'll be reading a whole storybook. Let's see if it works. The cat's tail. The cat's tail. In a land far away, but also quite near, there were two groups of cats. Oh, didn't you hear? Did I say they were the same? same? Well, not quite. There was one difference, although very slight. So now let me tell you just how it all went. Cats fell in the ditch and got rid of the water. And live forever in peace, just as they are.